Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a bit of a chatty video and a little bit of like a homeware slash luxury haul in this. So I thought I'd just have a little sit down, make myself a cup of coffee. I thought I'd just sit and have a chat with you all. I hope you're all doing all right and that you're safe and well wherever you are watching in the world. I was having a little read through some comments in some previous blogs and you're all just so lovely. And you, do you know what blows my mind as well? You're all from around the world, different parts of the world, and you all tune in, and it's just so, so lovely to have you here. So, um, hi. <laughs> and yeah, I just thought I'd film a little bit of a, a chatty video and also show you some bits that I've recently picked up. Um, nothing new and exciting happening in the Zara and Luke household. Zara's currently um, at work, so I thought I'd film this. And um, yeah, we're both all right, we're both doing okay. I'm planning on seeing my family towards the end of August, which is very exciting. So it's actually gonna be a week, a week to the day when this video goes live. So it's really lovely. We recently saw Zara's family, which is really nice as well. Thank you all for the love on that. No other major updates to report on. Life hasn't really been that eventful as such, no real major milestones. Zara got a promotion at work, which is very exciting. I mentioned that in a previous vlog. So she's just getting her teeth stuck into that. So it's all, it's all positive. Housewise, I know we've had a couple of questions asking about the progress of that. Obviously it's currently August and our lease is now running until July. So I did say this in a previous video, we've signed another 12 months on this tenancy just to keep it as us. But our landlord is really chill in the sense that he's just gonna allow us to do a rolling contract. So hopefully by July next year, we'll have at least found a house or a flat or somewhere and signed some kind of paperwork to have that in motion to be moving in the summer, which it's crazy, like this is gonna be like one of our last, it's second from last summer in this flat, which is just mad, it's crazy. So yeah, other than that, nothing else to report on. I just wanna know how you're all doing. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. Is there anything exciting happened in your life recently? Are you traveling? Um, travel's a little bit scary for us at the moment. It's scary, but it's just a bit all over the shop at the minute. Things seem to be going on lists in the UK. We have like green, amber, red, and then in between there's things, requirements, tests, all very bizarre. So we're staying in England as far as I'm aware and that's all right. So yeah, that's that's it. But yeah, let me know how you're all doing in the comments. I love hearing about your day to day shenanigans. It's always lovely to know. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you some bits and bobs that we picked up recently as well. Um, some of them are homeware bits and some like clothes. So yeah, I thought I'd include that in this too. It's very exciting actually because I previously did a haul uh, with St Pancras International, King's Cross St Pancras. They've got a fab little shopping spot in a station and um, so they very kindly invited me back down this year now that everything's reopened so i went into fortnum and mason you all know i love my food i also went into the white company and gant and also june and some h&m home as well so there's, there's a bit of everything in there so i'm going to start with the white company now i previously mentioned i bought a diffuser from the white company it was an autumn one it just didn't really smell of anything i'm not gonna lie guys so i completely avoided the room diffusers. I do have a white company room spray. This one is in the orange rind scent and it's very, very nice. I do enjoy that one. However, as you know, we have a white company diffuser and we love it. However, the oils that we had to put in the diffuser are actually like very festive. They're a Christmassy scent. So I had a look in and they had some lovely ones for kind of like spring summer. So I thought I'd pick some up. Now they're not cheap by any means. However, one thing I will say is that they last in a few drops fills your whole room, your whole house for hours. So in terms of cost effectiveness, these are better than candles and diffusers because they last forever. So um, yeah, they're, they're 10 pounds each. So I got these two. So the first one is this one, which is Fireside. And the way I'd best describe this is, oh, wow. It genuinely smells like an old, antique, re mega country manor house. I imagine this is what a home would smell like if you have an open fire, if you're lucky enough to have a fire. That's what this would smell like. It just smells really like luxe and expensive. I smelled that in so and I was like, yes, 100% coming home with me. And then the next one is this one, which is Wild Mint. We actually have the hand sanitizer of this and it smells really nice. This one is complete contrast to Fireside. A lot more fresh, a lot more, just smells like spring. It smells like spring and an oil. So I will let you know how these are because they look absolutely fab and Oh, I just think for, like for 20 pounds, they're gonna last us at least two, three years. I think that's a really good, good value. And obviously the white company do things very well. 
Apart from re-diffusers. <laughs> Maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know. Let's do, let's do Gant next. I love Gant. I think their products are amazing and they're really good quality. And I popped into their store and they had a sale on, which was fab. Now, I actually did a little Instagram poll. If some of you follow me over on Instagram, if you don't, I'll leave my hand on the screen. Um, because I was a bit stuck as to what product to get. Because I saw three that I liked. All in the sale. And they had an extra 10% off. So I've got something that's quite different. I mean, different in the sense of stripes. <laughs> you all know I love my stripes. So I went for a rugby, rugby t-shirt, rugby shirt. Yeah, it's this navy and white rugby shirt with a blue collar. This was originally 95 pounds, but I got it for 66.50 with an extra additional 10% off. And I just love it. I think it's really, really nice. I'll pop a photo on the screen of me in the changing room. There was a large sweater and also another rugby shirt, but I felt like I'd get my, like the most wear out of this. Feels such good quality and I don't want any rugby shirts. I thought it'd be nice. Sam, who I went shopping with, he has a lot of these and he says he gets a lot of wear out of them just like to throw on, to chill around the house. So um, yeah, but I think I'll definitely wear this out and about because it's gorgeous. Let's do Fortnum and Mason next. Now, you all know I love my food and I love that there is a Fortnum and Mason in St. Pancras International and Last time I went, I got one of their shopper bags. We use them all the time. And I actually learned something cool about these. So the bag itself is 10 pounds, which might sound like a lot for effectively a Hessian tote bag. However, Fortnum and Mason are genius because if your bag starts to get a little bit worn or a little bit shabby, take it back into the store if you are in London and they give you a new one. So you effectively have a bag for life. So when this gets a bit worn and loved, take it in, they recycle it and give you a new one. So £10 that lasts forever. I'm all about making them sensible purchases, you know? So um, yeah, I got quite a few things in Fortnum. How much did I spend in total? I spent 48 to 70. So Sam, who I went with, actually recommended for me to get these because he got them last time. So these are the Fortnum and Mason Stilton Cheese Straws. Now he's a big lover of cheese, as am I. So I trust his recommendation. Perfect for just pair them with cheese, you could dip them in hummus. Um, and I love Stilton, so who, who doesn't want that? So I'll try them and let you know how they are. I got some Fortnum and Mason coffee pods. These are Nespresso machine compatible and it's the breakfast blend. So it's roast level four. Um, so you get 10 pods in here. Rich and chocolate with caramel notes, uplifting hints of berry fruits and citrus, which has just reminded me to give my coffee a little sip before it gets cold. So yeah, these sound fab. They're just the classic like Nespresso ones. Um, so they're regular pods, so you can recycle those as well. Brilliant, I will let you know how they are. I've had a coffee in for, oh, <laughs> it's completely savage that. <laughs> Just me to open it wrong. There, that's a better way to do it. Yeah, I love Fortnum Amazing Coffee. I often get coffees in there when I'm shopping and it's fab. Next, I've featured this before on this channel. My mum absolutely loves it. This is the Fortnum and Mason Piccalilli, and it is, oh, just, I spoke about this before. Piccalilli is just delicious, and my mum loves it. I don't know if she's used it all, but I've just got her a new one for when I see her. Um, it's a cold platter, perfect for a sandwich filling, or built for dipping and picnic ready classic, essential tabletop accessory. And that's really nice as well, because when you're done with a jar, my mum can keep the jar, because she loves these types of things. So um, there, it's in the Le Parfait jar, which, it's fab. So um, yeah, that's the mum. And the last thing I got, now oh, I love jam. And I've heard Fortnum and Mason jam is quite delicious. So they, they've got a whole host of jams in there, folks. Like they have jams for days. I just went for a classic strawberry preserve. Be, preserve, preserve? For me, like classic strawberry raspberry flavors. We love it. And I just, I think the jar looks fab. Obviously you can keep the jars after you've used it so you can fill it up with maybe homemade jam and be like, it's from Fortnum and Mason, darling. <laughs> um, but I love it, yeah, and it just, oh my God, it smells so good. So yeah, I'm gonna have that on toast in the morning. Uh, I've been literally having this in my bag because I've waited to fill this hole. And I was like, right, tomorrow's the day to try the strawberry jam. So yeah, the second from last place I went to in St. Pancras was June. Now, I actually used to work in Topman and then June was kind of like the shoe concession next to where I worked. And I always used to love June shoes, June bags, and June is, it's just brilliant. Their quality is fab. So, I picked up these. Now, I know they're not gonna be to everyone's taste. However, they're kind of like a slip-on Velcro sandal. So, really versatile. These were, I think they were 65 pounds. Um, so that's where the majority of my voucher went. And I just love them. I think they're so nice. Obviously Zara got me my Birkenstocks for my birthday and they're kind of like every day, like I pop those on just to do like a bin run or when I'm out and about, I style them with a lovely linen outfit. These I think are going to be slightly more smarter. 
and fingers crossed I can wear them on holiday in some near distant future. But um, yeah, they're just the classic black leather sandal and I just think they're, they're lovely. It's really nice quality, try them on in store. Ah, they're so comfy, they are very comfy. I know they're not gonna be to everyone's taste but I am very much enjoy them. And then the last place I went to is Calvin Klein. Nothing too exciting. I just picked up some more underwear. I love Calvin Klein underwear. I have for years. I think it's really comfy. It's really well made. It lasts when you wash it continuously. So I just picked up a two pack of their cotton stretch trunks. So that's everything I got in St Pancras International. Huge, huge thank you to those guys for having me down. They've also got a lovely champagne terrace there, which is just gorgeous. It's called Sea Crease, so you can have a glass of champagne while you shop or wait for your train. Who doesn't want to do that? The last couple of things I got are in H&M and I actually picked these up with you and Now I put this on my Instagram because oh, I just love it. I've seen this in store before and you all know I love my kind of like ceramics and pottery and things that look kind of like old and vintage and a bit eclectic and this is gorgeous. So a huge like an olive green vase with the tiny little handles on the side. Um, and I just love it. I popped this in my bedroom on my side dresser. This was $19.99 and I had a three pound off voucher, $16.99. It's huge. So you can obviously just leave it on the side or you could put some floral arrangement if you wanted in there, some eucalyptus, some dry pampas. But anyway, I love it. I just think it's really nice and I've sold this for a while and just thought, why not? I'm glad you and persuaded me to buy it because I think it would have been a bit good if I came home empty handed. And last but not least, some candles. Now, H&M did have a sale on, and they did have some vases in the sale, but I really like that one. These, however, were one pound each, and they're fab. So they've obviously got the cork stoppers. So this one is a firm favorite. We, both myself and Ewan, got one of these. So this is the eucalyptus. Oh, actually, no, this isn't a firm favorite. This one is. I'll come to that in a second. So yeah, this is eucalyptus. Really nice and fresh. Again, I thought these would just be really lovely just to burn on like a side table or in my bedroom. And the next one I got was this, and this is ginger. Again, not too intense at all, but I just think it says, perfumes the air with hibiscus and spicy undertones. Herbaceous, sorry. Nice, really, really nice. And like I say, with the, with the cork lid, I don't think that's too bad at all. And then this one was actually two pounds. This is the mahogany scent. Now this is a favorite. Ewan picked up quite a few of these. I think it's a Gourney's new loft. I think they look such good quality, obviously, with the clasp lid. Again, that rich, nice, bougie smell that you, when you go in a nice hotel and it smells like that, it smells like mahogany, like wood, gorgeous, really, really nice. So that's everything that I got. I'm just gonna have another sip of my coffee. So that's everything I got and I love it all. I thought it'd just be nice to have a bit of a catch up with you all. And um, there'll be some food content coming soon as well. I know I've kind of taken a bit of a break with like the food recipe videos and stuff. They will be coming. It's just things have been so crazy with obviously lockdown lifting. We've just been out and about and like eating in restaurants that we haven't been able to do for quite a while. So recipe videos will be coming back very soon. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but if there are any other videos that you would love to see, um, any places you'd like us to visit or anything like that, just leave them in the comments because I'd always love to read those. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. It's a pleasure to have you. I hope you're all doing grand. Stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.